Sometimes a message is more powerful seen and not heard. And a world-renowned contemporary artist is aiming to send a message through her art with a new solo exhibition that just opened right here in Seoul. Our Im Yuni is here to tell us all the details. Good afternoon, Good Yuni. Afternoon. So today we are going to talk about artist Yang Hae-gyu. Right, exactly. So this is an artist who's had her work shown um, at galleries and exhibitions around the world. And now she's finally opened a very special solo exhibition here in Seoul where she takes a look at nature and its relationship to mankind. These straw creations look almost like a hut, reminiscent of a nomadic life, one enveloped in nature. But these works are actually scaled-down straw recreations of famous religious architectural structures from around the world. Artist Yang Hye-gyu is one of Korea's most successful contemporary artists, with exhibitions held around the world. And for the first time in over five years, she's having a solo exhibition in Seoul, with brand new works revealing her abstract views on nature, humankind, and the relationship between the two. I don't know if it's a strong curiosity or genuine feeling, but I hope people see this as an opportunity to see what drives my work. The exhibition features a collection of works spanning her long, successful career. She's most recognized for taking everyday, mundane objects and using them in her own imaginative way. As the artist mentioned, the theme here is Mother Nature and Humanity and how it can be restored. The exhibition, titled Shooting the Elephant, Thinking the Elephant, brings together multiple works, many rarely showcased in Korea for a unique look at the development of the artist's career. But one thing stayed consistent, and that's the abstract complexity of artist Young's works. Each piece requires an open mind and a willing imagination. So the title of the exhibition is Shooting the Elephant, Thinking the Elephant. So uh, am I the only one missing the uh, relation there? A curious thing there. So oh. actually, she uh, with this uh, exhibition, you're not going to see an e elephant there, but she does make a lot of literary references. So she said that, the artist said that with this elephant, it represents uh, the idea of nature destroyed by humans, but it also represents this very powerful imagination that uh, humans can possess. And so she really wants to emphasize that with all her works. Okay. So forgive my ignorance, but I... Personally, I'm not too familiar with the artist uh, Yang mm -hmm. Yegyu, so for our viewers who are like me, can you explain and give us a little bit more details about the artist? Right, so she majored in sculpture. She graduated with a sculpture uh, degree here at, at Seoul National University, and then she continued her work over in Germany, uh, going back and forth between Korea and Germany. Uh, but with this most recent project, the straw sculptures that you just saw in the report, it evokes a very uh, sort of very folktale kind of, I guess, aspect, and that mm. stems back to traditional Korean culture. Uh, but at the same time, she also includes a lot of other cultures that she has seen and experienced from around the world. And so you get a really good mix of works, uh, for, but all of her works are very are included at this exhibition, you can see. And it also includes one of her most important works, works which is called Citadella, and that is her Venetian blind work. It has over 186 Venetian blinds, and that's what really shot her into the spotlight with these works. A beautiful exhibition, beautiful installation work where you really get a multi-sensory experience because she has various blinds there. Uh, she plays with the lighting. She also mm. plays with different scents. So, mm. very interesting uh, exhibition experience too. Right. Go yeah. see. As is uh, for the case for many contemporary art works, it, it is a little bit difficult to understand. Right. So right. I think for this exhibition, if it, if it has some kind of storytelling, I think it'll be easier for me to understand if I go there. And you want to go there and set aside a lot of time to spend your time with each piece. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Yuni, for today's uh, report. You're welcome.